I think Orsa is uh, so beautifully connected with nature, with the worlds around her. She's responsive. She's feisty. She's really intelligent and she takes kind of no nonsense from anybody. She's got a fascinating role in this piece. We see a lot of her in Act 1 and then she kind of disappears out of the world for Acts 2 and 3, coming back into Act 4. And you wonder why, where's she gone, where's she been, what's her journey been in the time that passes? And the author that you meet in Act 4 is this extraordinary young woman. She's grown. She's grown through her experiences in the palace and with the king, and she becomes this woman in control of her own destiny. She's a beautiful character to observe. What incredible music. And we've had so much fun investigating the heart of this lady.